So when you're running the open dynamic SDK, you have a bunch of SDKs running. For each service, you have a different SDK. And for each instance of the of the SDK of the diff, of each instance of the service, it has its own SDK. So you have a lot of SDKs running around. And when you're making a decision, you're making a decision only for that specific SDK. And my assumption is that you're using distributed system. That means that you are going to communicate between different services, between different SDKs. And then we need to think what will happen in the downstream services. So let's say that service A is, um, is deciding what to do. Let's say it's going to say, I want to sample 50%. Service A is getting an API call, taking this API call, taking a decision, 50% yes or no. Um, if it's yes, it's very simple what it's going to do, right? It's going to send the spend to the collector and it's also going to inject to service B the trace parent so the trace uh, can propagate to the downstream services. What happens if you decide not to sample? You decided, no, I don't want, I want to drop this pen. Then something very interesting is happening because service A is going to generate a spend, decide not to collect it, so it won't send it to, um, to open telemetry at all, However, to, to the open telemetry collector, I mean. However, it is going to inject to service B the decision that it made. It is going to say, hey, service B, I got an API call. Now I'm calling you, but you need to know I am not going to, to sample it. And it's got the name uh, no op, no operation. And basically, that means that even you're setting 0% or no something at all in service A, you're still going to have some kind of effect in terms of CPU uh, to service A and B because they need to, to uh, share the decision that was made. This thing is called uh, parent-based sampling. Um, and you can see the definition of it right here. So we're doing parent-based sampler. Um, that means for service A, A you're making a decision. Um, and for service B, it means you're going to respect the decision of service A. If there will be direct traffic to service B, it will be entitled to take its own decision. Parent based sampling um, just means to respect the parent or to take your decision. But if you need to take your decision, then it has its own sampler. Um, to take the active decision. Here I use a trace ID ratio based sampler, which is basically a ratio between zero and one uh, to determine the ratio that you're doing. To our question, why do we have to take a decision when the spend starts? Why can't I wait in service A for the spend to end and only then decide what to do with it? So think on what's happening in service A. Service A is creating a new span. It's starting a new span. Basically saying, I am sending an API call to service B. Then we are sending the API call to service B. Only when service B would respond and say, hey, this is the response, only, only then service A can, can end the span. So service A opened the span waited for service B, and then closed the, the spend. So if we are service A and we, are, we would wait to take the decision of the sampling until service B would respond, service B wouldn't know that we took a decision or we are supposed to take a decision. And it would, regardless to the service A decision, would send the spend to the collector. And this is why we, when we're talking about head sampling, we must take the decision when everything, when the spend starts. And this is somewhat annoying, but um, this is how it works. To Just to emphasize that, even if you are doing 0% traffic, there is some effect on the performance. So actually reducing the sampling rate too low, like I would say below 5, 10, even maybe 20% is going to have kind of the same performance effect. So I wouldn't 
reduce it too much in the names of, of performance. 